What would you say, like the areas of research interest in IH, what's the direction? Where is it at and what's the direction it's going in for our idiopathic hypersomnia community? I guess for me, there are three key questions that scientists and physicians are exploring today <clears throat> regarding idiopathic hypersomnia. The first is, what is the underlying cause of IH? Secondly, could there be different causes that result in the pattern of symptoms that are diagnosed today as IH? So maybe not a single cause, but maybe multiple different causes. And then thirdly, how can we explain the diversity of symptoms and severity uh, that are experienced by different people with IH? As we understand sleep physiology and we learn more about sleep physiology from even our experiences now with orexin and orexin agonists, there's a couple different theories or hypotheses related to IH that scientists and researchers are trying to test.